What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Wild with Marcus, man. You know, it's a pleasure, man. You know, I missed y'all, right? Can you feel it? Do you feel a little tingling in the back of your spine right there? The little hat that just lift up? That was me, man. That was me missing you, man. You know what I'm saying? Man, you miss me, too. Okay, so getting back into it, man. You know, I got some content for you. This time, let me not mess up the word. It's another subscriber request. I am so proud of myself, man. I said that right. Are you proud of me? Okay, but anyway. Yeah, man, it's another subscriber request. <laughs> It's called the uh, racist gift back gift basket prank. Yes, I can spell. I'm just a little tongue tied. Has nothing to do with this styrofoam cup. Yep. But anyway, it's by my boy Gabriel Iglesias, man. You know me. You know I'm a fan, man. I um, really admire Gabriel, man. He's big on impersonations and uh, all sorts of things, man. His comedy is hilarious. So I hope you enjoy the clip. And without further ado, I'm going to get right into it, man. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm talking about? You know what I'm talking about? All right, let's do it. You hear my phone being rude? I'm going to hit that mute button. There we go. Let's get into it, Joe. <laughs> hey, look, hold up. Now I'm going to tell you. Anything with the word racist in it scares the shit out of me, okay? Because I don't ever know what I'm meant for, okay? And uh, hopefully this video makes it out because if it's crazy, you know, I can't put it out. But I know Gabriel's a cool guy. And he's a guy of all colors, man. So let's play the clip. See what we got in store for us. <laughs> no shade, man. Let's see what it's about. All right. <laughs> you guys want to hear the sickest practical joke ever? Sorry about the but footage, man. This, this clip is like from like six so years ago. They hear it. Six years. Are you still recording this in the back? I want to try to put this up on YouTube later. I know that the quality sucks, but <laughs> bear with me. Can you do me a favor? Could you zoom in a little bit more? I promise I won't move around a lot, but I want people to see my face if I do upload this story. Shout out to Oakland, right, though, I'll keep even though I ain't a fan. Y'all right. yeah, doing your thing. I'm proud of y'all. All Chunks. right. <laughs> you guys sure? I'm sure. All right, here we go. Craziest practical joke ever. I'm supposed to do a show in Northern California with my friend Martin. Martin. We usually fly, but this particular day I was having problems with Southwest Airlines. They wanted me to purchase an extra seat for somebody who wasn't traveling with me. That's <laughs> Take your time, you'll figure it out. Anyway, <laughs> so we said, the hell with this, let's just drive. So we jump in the car, right. yeah, yeah. head north. Usually it's about a six-hour drive. We're passing through the city of Fresno, and as we're passing through, we see signs on the side of the freeway that say, performing this weekend at the Radisson Hotel. Yes. Directly from BET's Comic View and Showtime at the Apollo, comedian G. Riley. And I look at Martin, my buddy, right? I'm like, dude. G, G. Riley's in town. Yeah, I haven't seen him forever. G. Riley's an old comedy buddy of ours. So we're like, let's stop by the hotel and say hi. Natural. So we pull into the parking lot. <laughs> we walk in the hotel. <laughs> I tell Crazy, my buddy man. Martin, I said, dude, Martin. I'm going to go to the front desk and I'm going to crank call his room. Said, what are you going to say? I go, I'm going to tell him that I'm the front desk and that I just received a gift basket for him. What's so funny about that? I'm going to describe the gift basket to him over the phone. And I'm going to make all the items that are in the basket become items. Pause. This shit about to be funny, ain't it? Okay, let's get back into it. That stereotypically, a black person might like. <laughs> He's like, you're crazy. I go, I'll tell you what, we got two hours to kill. How about this? How about we go to the supermarket and we make this an gift actual basket. racist gift basket? And we'll have it delivered, and we'll wait outside the door to see what yeah. happens. Okay. I said, are you down? Yeah. <laughs> He's like, yeah, yeah so let's get it. We go to the supermarket, and we proceed to design the sickest practical joke ever. <laughs> so we go inside the store, and we're like, okay, we need a shopping cart. So we got a shopping cart. We're like, all right, first thing we need is a basket. So I find an old Easter basket that's on clearance. You know, and I take out the grass and the little plastic eggs, and we start going up and down the aisles. First item I grab is a small little personal fried chicken. <laughs> so some of you are laughing right now. Some are like, oh my God, where's he going with this? A couple of black people in the room were like, a couple of black people were like, motherfucker, this better be fun. Get it real stupid. So <laughs> we do, and I heard you already, you racist ass right here. He goes, what about watermelon? We found a little tiny <laughs> Racist ass, uh, what about watermelon? Here's where it gets interesting. We get in 
employees of the store to help us finish design the basket. <laughs> and you'd be amazed how comfortable people get with you when they know you're doing something that is wrong. Yeah. <laughs> oh, guy shit. Is stocking a shelf and oh, we man, up okay. To him and we're like, excuse me, sir, can you help us out? What do you need? My friend Martin and I are trying to make a racist gift basket for <laughs> our black friend. Oh, can you shit. think of something we can put in here? Like, Without yeah, missing yeah. a beat, the guy was like, ah! You gotta have Kool-Aid. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucked up. At the end of the aisle on the right, all liquors and everything. You gotta have Kool-Aid. By the time we hit the register, we got a shopping cart with Kool-Aid, freaking fried chicken, watermelon, grape soda, barbecue <laughs> potato chips, sunflower seeds, an ebony magazine, a Chris Rock DVD called Bigger and Blacker. <laughs> Yo, I love all of this shit. <laughs> We get a greedy card that's on clearance from Halloween, and it has a picture of three ghosts on the front of the card <laughs> wearing sheets. <laughs> Yo, that's I tear up the card that says Happy Halloween, and on the back of the greedy card, card. I write, Welcome to Fresno, the Chamber of Commerce. <laughs> and we stick it to the basket. So we made it all nice and pretty. Oh, shit. All ass back to the hotel. <laughs> we pull up. <laughs> We walk in, the basket's all hot from the chicken, right? So I'm like, ah, ah, ah. We get to the front desk. It is too perfect. There's a black girl behind the counter. As soon as I put the basket down, she's like, is that chicken? <laughs> Ooh, let me see what you got. Hold on. What is it? What's wrong? I go, let me explain. My name is Gary. <laughs> comedians, and we're about to play a really crazy practical joke on a friend of ours named G. Riley. Oh, the guy that's on the flyer? Yeah, the guy that's on the flyer. He's, we're friends of his. We're comedians, and uh, that's that's why you can smell uh, fried chicken, because we're playing a, a, a <laughs> practical joke. We made a racist gift basket, and that's why you also see watermelon. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, let me explain she myself. Was like, Ooh. Look. That is so wrong. Yeah. <laughs> you need Jesus. That's what you need right there. She told us that. Girl, you got to come see this. You got to come see this. I go, look, we think it would be hysterical if you were to deliver the basket first. <laughs> she lost it. Oh, hell no. Oh, I know you didn't just ask me to take that to a black man. You out your damn mind, sucker. Oh, Lord. Lord. Give me the strength. <laughs> Give me the strength. Oh, to not kill Nacho Libre. <laughs> oh, shit. She called Nacho Libre. Hell nah. I'll give you 50 bucks. Where that motherfucker at? <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck fucking attitude changed. <laughs> Throw that grant up there, baby. <laughs> we hide and she knocks on the door. He opens She's the dope. door, sees a beautiful black woman standing there holding a gift basket. <laughs> this here basket is for you, baby. And she hands it to him, and he's like, thank you. Closes the door. She walks away, and my friend Martin and I are hiding by the elevator, and she's like, y'all still going to hell. <laughs> So my, she jumps in the elevator, fit, yeah. we walk over to the door, and we start listening on the door. This is what we hear. Shh, 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 shh. Yeah. <laughs> Woo! Chicken. Oh, shit, cool, eh? <laughs> He's getting more excited. Hey, you don't give a fuck about the prank, dog. You got everything you like in there. Welcome to Fresno, the Chamber of Commerce. Hell yeah, that's what I'm saying. They know how to hook a brother. <laughs> <laughs> him flip the card over because his voice changed. He's like, yeah, man, I can't believe it. What the fuck? <laughs> Next thing we hear, racist bastards. <laughs> when we heard racist bastards, we lost it. We're like, ah! Oh, we got him. We got him good. We're making noise in the hallway. <laughs> Housekeeping is freaking out. <laughs> <laughs> Shh. <laughs> We're crying. We knock on the door. He yells, Who is it? Too easy. Chamber of Commerce. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking for y'all, motherfuckers. Open the door opens it, and he's got his fist up like he's going to get crazy. And he sees Martin and I, and he's like, Oh, damn. Oh, I know it. I know it. What's up, G? Did you like your basket? Man, that was messed up. <laughs> Did you like it? Motherfucker, I love all that shit. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, he named every fucking thing I like. <laughs> Just saying. How could you do that, man? How would you 
like it if I did that to you, Gabe? Oh, what do you mean? Yeah, how would you like it if I had a maid over there bring your ass a piñata? And supposed full of candy and nachos and chimichangas and a blanket with a big ass bottle of tequila. What would you say? Thank you. Thank you, motherfucker. Yo, man. Yo, my boy Fluffy, do it again, man. Shout out to Gabriel and Glacius, man. If you don't know how to find his page, don't worry. I'm going to leave the link in the bottom, man, so you can get to him. He's a favorite of mine. Shout out to my subscriber, man. Okay? I know your name. I just can't think of it yet. But thank you. I'm going to look through it, and I'm going to add that in the link, too. So y'all make sure y'all pay homage, man. That's what I'm doing, man. Show love to the subscriber. Anyway, I thank you for the content, man. It was definitely hilarious. Um... I don't know, man. <laughs> I ain't catch it as, as being racist, man. Like, I guess like the black guy Wiley did until he read the back of the car, right? It was definitely hilarious, man. I hope y'all enjoyed the clip. And if you did, make sure you take a few seconds, hit the thumbs up, hit the subscribe so we can stick with each other, man. And uh, Happy New Year's to y'all, man. Enjoy yourselves. Embrace togetherness. Get back with me, man. Whatever, man. All the good stuff. Yeah. That's right. But anyway, <laughs> thanks for wilding with Marcus, man. Come and kick it with me for a little bit. You know I appreciate you. And until next time, latest, y'all. <laughs>